scenario. That's not how you wear a mask. That's not it either, Oreo. Let's watch this video from Nurse Barry to learn about wearing our mask correctly. Good morning, boys and girls. This is Nurse Barry, and I just had a few things I wanted to talk to you guys about. As you know, everybody's supposed to be wearing our masks, and this is the proper way to wear your mask. See, my nose is covered, my mouth is covered. Is this the proper way? No. Is this the proper way? No. We want you all completely covered. Now, we already have some friends in our school, unfortunately, that have gotten the flu, that have gotten strep throat. That's why these are so important. So even though this is protecting us from COVID, it also will protect us from the flu, from strep throat, but that's why it's so important that we wear it. So maybe, I know sometimes you get a break when you're sitting at your desk. So instead of taking it all the way off, let's just pull it down till we get a breathing break, and then as soon as we stand up from our desk, we need to cover our face completely. That way we'll protect each other, we'll protect ourselves and we won't have to close the school back down. So please, 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 teachers, students, wear your mask. Wear it properly and we'll all get through this safe and healthy. There you go, Oreo, good job. Now the boys and girls will know how to wear their mask correctly as well. Thank you, Nurse Barry. Morning, Flint Hill family, boys and girls, parents, just, just everyone. Good morning. Today is Friday, November the 20th. Can you believe it? Today in two more days, and then we're out for the Thanksgiving holidays. Um, so I've already told you one announcement that the Thanksgiving holidays will be on November the 25th through the 27th. Um, another thing I want to talk to you about is on December the 4th, that's going to be the uh, sock day for Relay for Life wear your craziest socks you can come up with and uh, bring one dollar and that donation will go to Relay for Life. We're also on December the 18th having our Polar Express Pajama Day. So get ready for that. That's one dollar to participate and that's an early release day on December the 18th. We'll be dismissing a little bit after 11 o'clock. Um, wear your pajamas so you'll be ready just to go right back home and go back to bed. But make sure you bring that dollar for Relay for Life, okay? So um, that's a great cause, and we are uh, trying to earn money for the American Cancer uh, Society. Um, also, want to talk to you just a little bit. Yesterday, we made a mistake. We uh, overlooked a very important day in our American Education Week. We overlooked Parent Support Awareness Day. And, uh, you know, we couldn't do this, parents, without you. I hope we have parents that are watching, especially if your students are still virtual. We want you to know that we know this has been a rough year. Um, we know it's been tough on you. It's, it's been tough on us. And we know it's been tough on you. And we appreciate all the support and encouragement that you have given us um, through the past uh, months and uh, us starting this new school year uh, virtually and then becoming a little more uh, in-person and a little more in-person and a little more in-person. Um, we, we really do appreciate your patience and your understanding and all the help that you give us. So um, huge shout out today for our parents. Our story today is gonna come to you from Ms. Rebolds and it is about, it, this is also Epilepsy Awareness Month. And we wanted to, um, you know, just kind of give you a little bit of update uh, so you're familiar a little bit with the word and um, give you a little background knowledge on that. Uh, we're going to have the shout outs in just a few moments, but until then, enjoy the middle of the show. 
Um, we hope you are enjoying it. And uh, get ready because in the next couple of weeks, we're going to have some fantastic stuff coming out here for you. So until um, I come back for the shout outs, boys and girls, enjoy the show. Welcome to Wolfpack Weather Center for your daily weather report. I'm Isabella and today is November 20th, 2020. Today's high is 70 degrees and tonight's low is 43 degrees. Have a fabulous Friday and have a wonderful weekend and we will see you all back here on Monday morning. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. special day going on. Today is World Epilepsy Day and we'd like to tell you a little bit about what epilepsy is. Blair, what is epilepsy? Well, epilepsy is a kind of, of a serious thing. It's where your brain cells make electric sparks or to connect to a certain place. Once in a while for a person who has epilepsy, sometimes they'll like go in the wrong direction in the wrong spot which will cause a seizure, like when you're sick. So, like Blair's saying, sometimes different parts of your brain make sparks, and the sparks, when somebody has epilepsy, can cause a seizure. A seizure happens in many different ways. Sometimes a person's body might jerk around. Blair, what's another way that you can have a seizure? Well, you can fall face first sometimes, or you just fall very still with your eyes open. Mm-hmm. So, people with epilepsy are not any different than anybody else. They just have this condition. So, they can still do everything else everyone else can. Sometimes, like Blair, they wear this bracelet so that if they did have a seizure, people would know that they have epilepsy and know that it's okay. What are some things that happen for people who have epilepsy? Well, you can stare out in his face. He's anyone that's over, when you're done staring out in space, is with your eyes open while you're sometimes with us loud and, and you'll forget what it just happened. Yep. So, there is nothing wrong with having epilepsy. Um, the most important thing to remember if you see anyone who is having a seizure, you should um, not hold them down. You should call for help. You never leave them alone. And um, you can help them out and save their life. So, thank you very much for listening to me and Blair talk about World Epilepsy Day. And go out there and be a hero. You make me wanna shout, kick my heels up and shout, throw my hands up and shout. Welcome back, boys and girls. It's time for the Wolf Pack shout out. 
and we're excited to say we've got lots of shout outs for today. So let's get started. Um, let's start with our students first. For our students, we have uh, Shaylin, best math and reading. Susie's working hard in science. Gabrielle Reed said she got two pieces of candy for being a great learner, and I think that's awesome. Uh, we have um, Navea for being an awesome friend. We have Chase for being a funny friend. And we have Jeremiah, and this is a really special one, guys. This comes from Brandon Caldwell. Brandon says that Jeremiah has been a great friend and has been helping him since the first day he came to our school as a new student. That's important, boys and girls, to be friends with our uh, and be nice classmates to those that are new to us. Because um, they, you know, they kind of feel alone and they don't want to feel that way. And we want them to feel like they're at home with us in our family. Uh, Braden Mills for being a good classmate. Uh, Quintrelia Salette for being a good classmate. Um, now let's move on to our staff. These are our students that are wanting to send shout outs to our staff members. Um, and well, also some of our teachers also. We have Miss Elder sending a shout out to, I want to thank Miss Kitchens for going above and beyond teaching my in-person students while I was out. And I appreciate all my teammates for stepping up and being the very best. So good job, third grade, good job. Um, this is a shout out from Sanaya Fisher to Miss Smith. Um, she's great, she's a great math teacher and she helps her with her math when she comes into class. Uh, this one goes out to Miss Crowley. Uh, thank you for being a great teacher. This goes out to uh, Mr. McCormick from Yashaki Patel. Um, thank you for helping me when I needed it. Um, Sean Long wants to give me a shout out. I don't know why Sean Long wants to give me a shout out. Maybe it's because we've been working together on the new show, but thanks a lot, Sean. Um, Summer Riley is giving a shout out to Miss Shivers. Um, she says, thank you for helping me with math. Uh, we have Chloe Gale wanting to send a shout out to the entire Flint Hill staff. She appreciates each, appreciates each and every one of us. Um, this one is from uh, Scarlett Perry, and I think it's going out to Miss Tupper. Um, she makes um, learning fun and makes me want to learn more. Good job. Uh, to Miss Williams and Miss Nelms, you're the best teachers ever. Another one to Miss Williams, um, thank you for helping me find the shout out page. And another one to Miss Williams says, uh, thank you for helping me with math and science. And that's really important. Good job. Good job, Miss Williams. Amazing Bechet would like to let Mr. McCormick know that he is the coolest teacher ever. Now, when you say that, that means that's like the very, very top. And Mr. McCormick's great, so good job. Uh, and Joshua wants to give a shout out to Miss Williams for being the best teacher. And we also have a shout out going out to the entire WPTV staff um, from, uh, well, it doesn't say who it's from, but they're just glad that we have a morning show at Flint Hill. And we really do appreciate all of these shout outs. I do have one more that I almost forgot. This is a shout out. Um, Miss Ellis wants to give a shout out to Miss Williams' fifth grade class. They're so attentive and well behaved when I'm in their class. They are good examples of how fifth graders should behave. Way to go, Miss Williams class. Now that's an honor right there, guys. We need fifth graders to show our younger students how to behave and how to be good Flint Hill students. So great job, Miss Williams. That's all I've got for today. Shout out to the whole Flint Hill Wolf Pack, and we will see you back here, not next week, but the next week on the Wolf Pack Shout Out.